So there's a popular misconception that aluminum block engines with steel sleeves cannot be rebored. If it has a certain amount of wear, that's it, you have to get a new block, and that's not true. The steel sleeves inside the bore can be opened up around a half a millimeter, which is 20 thousandths over. That's what I did with this block. I brought it to a machine shop, and they bored it out 20 thousandths of an inch over the original diameter by using rough stone in their honing machine. And you can get pistons that are half a millimeter or 20 thousandths over from third-party vendors. Now, I've watched a lot of videos where people had shown the bore of aluminum engines where there were flat spots and vertical grooves and they said that's it the block shot you got to get a new block that's not true you can service these blocks by slightly overboring there is n enough material in the steel sleeve to overboard it and along with the piston you can get oversized rings so this is the Hastings brand piston rings so the standard ring has this part number the oversized version has a 020 on it so I'm going to show you, I'm putting this ring in the bore, and using my feeler gauge, I'll show you that's exactly a half a millimeter gap in the piston rings. Now the ring is seating square inside the bore. And this is my thickness gauge, also called a feeler gauge. So 21 thousandths is a half a millimeter, 0.5 millimeter. Now we go inside the bore and measure the gap and it fits in the gap perfectly. If I were to use the standard replacement rings, that gap would be double in size. So I have a bored out block, I have oversized pistons, oversized rings, and watch my next video where I install the crankshaft and the pistons along with the rings. And we're done.